So now that I completed my Tenrai, I want to do a review on this plane dive bomber as of right now in the game because it's currently the quote unquote best dive bomber, right? So let's go ahead and talk about this uh, dive bomber in particular. Let me go over here and grab it real quick. So as always, at plus 10, depending on the ship, I'm going to unequip this. Let's talk about it somewhere over here because we'll get accurate more information. At plus 10, it is a 12 second fire rate, 65 aviation, armor piercing bombs. This is pretty good right here. When this aircraft hits an enemy, 24% chance. I don't know why it's 24, obviously. Um, they could have picked any number, but... Even 25% would have made more sense, but 24% is like a weird number. Maybe it has to do with history or something, even though this plane's like kind of whatever. I, don't, I think it's real. I don't know. Someone can correct me. But 24% is weird. I don't know why it has that, but it has that. Uh, does not stack. Only apply. Only the strongest armor break applies here, so there's that as well too. Uh, we have the armaments here. I don't know about the guns or whatever. I, I guess they're cool, but we got the bombs here. We got three 800 kilogram uh, AP bombs right here. It is pretty good. This right here alone is pretty good. Very sizable indeed. Uh, made by IJN. Plane speed is 52. I believe this is one of the faster ones. I could be wrong. But let's say, let's compare this to um, Helldivers. Yeah, it is one of the faster ones for sure. I think Comets may be faster. Let me check. But that one is definitely fast though. Oh no, it's even faster than the, uh, the Comets. Interesting. Well then, very fast dive bomber here. Uh, 430 health. I think that's like... It's like better? No, no, it's weaker. Okay, it's weaker than the Hild Hell Divers, but it's fast though. It's really fast. And equipped by light carriers and carriers. So, by all means, this is not like a game changing dive bomber. It's pretty good. It's like a marginal upgrade over like Hell Divers, the currently best DPS hell, um, um, dive bombers before Tenrai came out. So, it is not bad. It's a good upgrade and it has a unique ability as well with the armor break and whatnot. So today we'll be talking about this um, and showing or show not showcasing but uh showing examples of this dive bomber in action. And as of right now, I will say I have two of two really good ships or two ships I have in mind that are very good with Tenrai. So obviously, I think most people know that by now that Haku Ryu is really, really looking forward to having this dive bomber. It is the go-to mainly because you you want to have this particularly for her skill right here. And that skill, uh, I believe, is this one right here. Or it's one of these. Maybe it's this one right here. Okay, never mind. It's this one right here. So if she has a Sakura Empire aircraft, 15% aviation and 15% accuracy. It's very good. Now, you want this on Haku because if you go to here, if you go here, the first slot, there's not much you can slot in for Sakura aircraft. Like, there's there's going to be some things like a, like Ryuze's and... um. Um, Repus, but the Repu here is I'm not a fan of because I want the slashing bonus. Um, if you guys don't already know, Haku has a little skill where if you have a fighter, she has like a barrage. The barrage is okay, but the real damage comes from the slashing move. So in order to do this, you have to not equip a fighter. So you don't want to have a fighter here unless you really, really need to for like whatever reason. In this case, I used uh, a fighter for 14-4 because I wanted like some anti-air, so that's why I used it. But for the most part, you, I would want to avoid that. Stick to some IJN aircraft. Again, in this case, we have Reuse A's. That's like our only option. <laughs> and for fighters, at least. Uh, for not fighters, uh, the first slot. If we go to Dive Bombers, we have Comets. That can work. Comets are okay. It's faster planes. Like one of the faster ones, right? It's like really fast. Like two seconds faster than 10 Rise. But... The damage is like kind of whatever, especially because Hakuri is focused on dive bombers. It's kind of whatever. So you kind of want to have this here unless you're going for some like timing build with airstrikes and whatnot. But Tenrai here is definitely going to do way more damage than the comets. And then again, last slot, torpedo bombers and whatnot. I think dive bombers go here too. There's not much you can slot here. So Haku Ryu really wants this plane because when you have Tenrai right here, the option to build whatever you want just opens up. You can do... Uh, you could do double junkers if you want. You could do double wyverns or whatever. Whatever you need, right? You can even do double. Um, if you ever get to that point, you can do double ten rise. Like replace this right here for another ten rise, and then you have like a wyvern ten rise ten rise setup. That could be that could work too. Honestly, that could really work. Gets the most out of the dive bomber effects and whatnot. That could really work. But as of right now, I think some most of you guys have 
zero or one. So yeah, that's not. Don't worry about it as of right now. But when you do get one, Haku Ryu really likes this plane. She really does. And the other ship that really likes this plane is gonna be Aquila. Aquila is gonna be super super good with the ten rise because why? Because armor break. And she's one of the best planes to utilize dive bombers right now because she's super fast. She is the only preload ship in the game as of right now with dive bomber slots. So when you go first, you have wyverns, you have ten rise, you do so much damage. It is insane. It is insane. Not to mention, because she goes first, and not to mention she has a skill that lets her go even faster if you equip dive bombers. I believe she has like a 10 second, yeah, 10 percent uh shorter cooldown reduction on her airstrikes that means she pretty much will always go first unless it's like a um a aircraft uh light aircraft or whatever they're probably gonna go first but if you're using like all carriers in the back line she's probably gonna go first she can have an rng chance to apply armor break it's very good on her and she is really good in pvp so 10 rye wyverns in pvp yeah i don't have to say much more right She's very good there. Very, very good there. So those are my two ships as of right now that I think are going to be very, very good on te uh, with Tenrise. Now, let's go ahead and test some stuff out with them. So I'm in challenge mode as of right now. I have Azuma to tank and uh, Aquila to showcase the good old stuff. So we're going to swap through planes. I'm going to start with the usual stuff. We'll start... I'll be testing the uh, Comets, we'll be testing the Helldivers, the gold one in particular, and we'll be ta uh, sh testing out the Tenrise. So, once again, it's going to be the Tenrise, Helldivers, and Comets that I'll be showing for this video. Let's show some damage output. <laughs> So, as you guys saw in those clips, is as expected. Comet had the least damage output, followed by Hell Divers, and Tenrai was the highest one. Obviously, that was going to happen, right? Now, that doesn't mean the other dive bombers are useless. The Hell Divers are still going to be used by most people because that's all you guys have. And Comets will still be useful because it's one of the fastest dive bombers in the game as of right now. To so make sure you guys get those airstrikes in on whatever combat you're trying to do or whatever, it helps out a lot. So, by all means, Tenrai then should kick anything out. But it has a pretty nice damage output, so there's that, All right? So, with the p damage output tester or whatever, it's time to test it out in PvP. I don't do PvP videos often, but I'll show you guys the power of Aquila with Tenrai Bombs in PvP. ファイヤーコントロール。ファイヤーコントロール。頼むわよ。アンカレ、アイセス。ファイヤーコントロール。ファイヤーコントロール。頼むわよ。アンカレ、アイセス。ファイヤーコントロール。ファイヤーコントロ
方向よし目標よしあたしたちを止められる敵は何も。しました<笑>ご満足いただけましたでしょうかアキラの指揮官様 So, those are the three runs I'm gonna show you guys.、Uh, again, I'm not a PvP expert. I had to ask my chat this. So, this is how I geared up my a k i l a It's nuts. I think this thing right here, if you apply the armor break, it is pretty damn good. It's pretty good, damn good. Also, it makes you、uh, do more damage or whatever. So good, so so good. I think this right here is going to be amazing. So,、um, probably another couple months or so,、uh, when people have a lot of these, you're going to probably see a lot of these on the Kila. And、uh, PvP is just going to be even more fun. It's going to be more fun. So, that's my、uh, review on Tenrai as of right now. Amazing dive bomber, super good on Haku Ryu and a k i l a and many other、uh, aircrafts as well, too, like Suryu Meita that can use、uh, the gets a,、uh, or gets a,、um, A, a damage boost if you are to use a Sakura、um, aircraft. I can find my s o r y u m a t e There it is. You get like a buff if you have、uh, a Sakura Empire aircraft. Any plane like that would love to have dive bombers like those Tenrise. So that's my view on it. It's pretty good. Nothing like super game breaking, but if you get one though, because some of you guys are working on PR4, if you guys ever get one, slot them in. Free damage, baby. Free damage. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.